A Dance with Winter, Unraveling Jan van Goyen's Masterpiece In the heart of the 17th century, a young artist named Jan van Goyen painted an exquisite piece that would transcend time. Winter, as it is aptly named, is a circular oil painting on panel that measures 33.4 cm in diameter and was crafted in 1625. Winter is not just a standalone masterpiece but serves as a pendant to another equally captivating roundel titled Summer. Both pieces are signed and dated similarly, showcasing the stark contrast between the two seasons. The winter landscape, however, stands out for its rarity a Dutch winter scene devoid of snow. Winter belongs to a genre of paintings depicting the seasons and months of the year which originated in the southern Netherlands and became popular in the north with the arrival of immigrants. Van Goyen was introduced to this genre by his teacher Esaias van der Velde, who was also an immigrant son. Van Goyen painted at least 22 pairs of summer and winter landscapes, in both rectangular and circular formats, of which 16 survive today. Most of them date from his early period, up until around 1627 when his style and palette were still close to van der Velde's. Winter is one of the earliest examples of Van Goyen circular paintings, also known as tundos. It is executed in oil on panel, a medium that allows for rich colors and textures. The painting is signed and dated on the lower left, J. V. Goyen 1625. The composition of winter is as enigmatic as the season itself. The dark backdrop illuminates the subject, drawing viewers into the intense yet serene atmosphere. Every brushstroke tells a tale of a frosty yet snowless winter where people are seen reveling on a frozen canal near an imaginary castle, a scene that brings warmth to the cold season. The painting is divided into three planes, the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. The foreground is dominated by a large bare tree that extends its branches over part of the sky. The tree serves as a framing device and a contrast to the lively figures below. The figures are depicted in various poses and activities, such as skating, chatting, carrying goods, or playing games. They add a sense of movement and vitality to the painting. The middle ground is occupied by the frozen canal that leads the eye to the background. The canal is dotted with boats, houses, and more figures. The background features an imposing castle that rises above the horizon. The castle is intricately designed with visible turrets and windows. It adds an architectural element to the natural surroundings and creates a focal point for the painting. The sky is filled with clouds that are carefully modeled and shaded. The clouds create a dramatic contrast and depth, enhancing the mood and expression of the painting. The light source is not clearly defined but it seems to come from the left, casting shadows and highlights on the objects and figures. Winter is not just a depiction of a season, but also a reflection of a culture and a history. The painting captures the essence of the Dutch Golden Age, a period of prosperity, trade, and art that lasted from the late 16th to the early 18th century. The painting also reveals the influence of the Eighty Years' War. A conflict between the Dutch Republic and the Spanish Empire that spanned from 1568 to 1648.